Uh, my name's John Kimball. Um, I'm a teacher at a school in Bracknell and uh, I play Katuk and Kanong in the Gamelan here at Maiden Early. Um, what I, do you teach at school? I teach languages, so French and, and Spanish. Hello, my name is Sula Stri, but they call me Tri. Um, we moved here in 2000 and uh, I'm not working at the moment. I just follow where my husband is going. And uh, I play, uh, what is it called? Yeah, I can't remember. I play the gamelan. Ad um, the Peking. Peking, what is it? Pa the Panarus. Panarus, sorry. And uh, we've been playing for uh, since 2000, 2004. Eh? 2004, five. Yeah. But I never played gamelan before, just, you know, and then I met Tim, cause, uh, and then uh, we make a group, and then he asked me, do you want to play? And then I said, oh, okay. But I never played gamelan before. But my mother used to play gamelan. But I used to dance as well, Japanese, when I was a kid. But uh, I enjoy it very much here. Yeah away from uh, my hometown and I enjoy very much more than I do before. When did you hear Gamalan for the first time? Um, it was about 20 years ago, so when Tim first started playing Gamalan in Oxford, we joined the, the Bait Collection Gamalan group there. So I've, I've been playing since then and then when we moved here we've been playing uh, in, in this area as well. And we went to our went to Indonesia to Java and and to Bali on holiday about 20 years ago as well, and, and heard it there. And Tim was teaching in in Java in Yogyakarta. Um, so you were playing in um, the first group. Who were they when you were playing in? Um... It's a, a community gamelan as well as being um, a student gamelan so that the gamelan is housed in the bait collection of musical instruments at the University of Oxford and there are students that play it but also other members of the Oxford community so people from the town as well so we would play with some of those sessions as well. How long were you um, there? Um, um, that lasted you? about four or five years probably um, mm. and then um, musical gamelan here has been to our school as well so we've done quite a few events out of out of the uh, the area and a lot with children as well it's very easy for children to pick up how to play the gamelan because of its its uh, numerical sequence with the numbers they they learn it very quickly do you play other gamelan uh, other instruments apart from gamelan uh, i don't uh, I'm a singer and I, I yeah. play piano and a, a, a bit of organ as well, and piano accordion, so... How is it different from playing gamelan? Um, it's much more... Um, much more developmental, I think. The, the greater, there's a greater ensemble from the instruments that I play, which tend to be more solo instruments, and the gamelan is, is more of an orchestra, so for me it's, it's very nice to be playing with a a lot of other people. It's more like singing in a choir, I suppose, in that sense, that you're listening to other people and fitting in with the patterns and, and the structure of the piece is much more obvious. So how do you feel playing with this group? It, it's, uh, it's, it's great to, to have people from different communities and different cultures and, and to learn the social side as well. So it's, it's introduced us to a lot of community events and, and festivals with the, the Indonesian community that we've played at and, and also the other art forms, so the dance that, that we've accompanied at various places as well and, and the songs that go with it. Uh, dance? Uh, what dance? Um, when we played at the South Bank, so we, we've had various productions at the South Bank that have been accompanied either by people singing or, or people dancing and um, we're working towards a puppet show possibly in the future as well. So. So, uh, you accompanying dancers from Indonesia? Um, I think they were from, from Java, yeah. yes, that's right. From Java. Um, could you tell us a bit more about your experience playing gamelan with the group? Uh, it's, it's 
quite funny, really, when I told my friend, and they said, oh, you never, you know, when in Indonesia, you never care about gamelan. <laughs> and to be honest, but in here, because I was, you know, every time we play, and then people here is more respect about gamelan, because they more uh, interested than people in Indonesia. So I was kind of, oh, I, I wish I'd play early before, and then I never, you know, I never think about that before, but now I enjoy very much. Then you see how many people here in, in UK, you know, they're very interested in Gamelan. When they watch it, and then they very, very in, into it, not just, you know, just watch it. they asking, and then it's, it's very different here with the Indonesia, and then if you go to Indonesia, not not many people, unless if you go to the wedding or <laughs> that's why. It's, it's nice, yeah. It's John, do you teach gamelan? Um, the instruments at school? Um, I don't teach gamelan, no, but um, we, we do do workshops. So when we've had the gamelan over to school, we've done a little performance, maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then invited the children to come and, and have a go with us. And so we, we've taught our own instrument to them. So rather than doing it as a, as a complete group, each of us will, will have somebody with us and, and show them and guide them through the instruments. Um, and so it just becomes a bigger group. And uh, they take to it very quickly. It's, it's very easy for, for young children and also children with learning difficulties that they can play a proper tune after about a quarter of an hour. Whereas if you're um, does gamelan affect your work at all? My work. Um, I think it, it gives a, a, a balance to the work so that when you're, you're spending a lot of time and, and most jobs have got a certain amount of stress and so on, to go at the end of the day as today where we've been working all day long and, and to look forward to something in the evening where you can get rid of some emotions and, and basically have a, a bit of serenity at the end of the day. Um, it's, it's something to, to look forward to, and I think it, it falls, fills that, that kind of function that um, you're working with other people cooperatively and, uh, and the music you're producing is, is, is very relaxing in many ways as well. So it's, uh, it's Would you encourage other people to play gamelan? Yes, definitely. Yes, I certainly would. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, how do you think the people in the UK take it? I think a lot of people who have been to Indonesia, it's, it's quite a popular destination for holidays, um, they've heard it there and they've, they've, they've been encouraged to come back and, and maybe have a go if they, if they can. There aren't many gamelans in, in Britain, so it's, there's not always a huge number of opportunities, but uh, I think that they enjoy it as well. Anything, anything else you would like to tell us about your experience playing gamelan? Um, I think it's just generally fulfilling as, as a complete experience. As I say, it's, it involves many art forms as well because the gamelan accompanies other things. It's not there in its own right in the way that a, a Western orchestra, people go to listen to the orchestra, whereas the gamelan is part of a show, it's part of the dance, it's part of the puppetry, it's part of the song, and it's, mm. it's used also for big celebrations where you go to weddings and there's a gamelan playing. Um, uh, we've had a gamelan that uh, that went to a friend's wedding that was taking part there in a uh, in a pavilion and it, it enhanced the whole thing. I think it's a, a celebratory instrument. Thank you.